Exactly, brother. I'm glad you came over here. You ever heard of the Israelites before? I've heard. Okay, well, what do you know about the Israelites? Okay, well, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. I'm going to show you. Hey, this is, your, this is the best information that you could ever hear. I never thought that I would be out teaching the Bible. I thought the white man wrote the Bible, and I didn't know if it was real or not. But once I ran across the brothers, these brothers in purple, and I got the understanding that they was teaching, it changed my life. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is the Bible talking to the Israelites, to God's people. It said, if you listen to what the Bible say, read. To observe and to do all his commandments. What's the key part? To observe and to do his commandments. To do the commandments of the Bible. This is what's going to happen to God's chosen people if they do the commandments. Read. Which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Bible just said if God's people do the commandments, they're going to be above everybody. So why are we fighting for equality when the Bible says if you do the commandments, you're going to be better than everybody? They teach us that God loves everybody and we all equal, but that's not what we just read. So if we did the commandments, we're going to be above everybody. You got kids? So if your kids do what you say, they're going to get a reward, right? If they don't do what you say, what's going to happen to them? It's going to be a punishment, right? So we're going to go to the flip side by us being God's children. What are going to be the punishments for not being obedient to our Father in heaven? Verse uh, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't listen and do what the Bible say, read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, are curses good or bad? Curses are a bad thing. So if we don't, if the Israelites don't do what God say, these curses are going to be on the Israelites. Read the next verse. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. So when you go to Chicago, uh, Los Angeles, Detroit, wherever we are, look at our community. Does it look like it's a blessing? Or do we see uh, blunt wrappers all over the place, dirty diapers, McDonald's wrapper food? You can tell the black community. When you ride through it, that's a curse. It said, read that again. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. So because the Israelites are going to be cursing their cities and cursing the field. Now who were picking cotton? In the cotton field picking cotton, sugar cane. The Israelites would be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. So even when you look at this sign right here, that's a curse. You ever wonder why did we get punished like this? Why did we go into slavery? That is a curse that God said he was going to put on the Israelites. So read, uh, jump to verse 46, I believe. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So these curses are going to be a sign on the Israelites and make you wonder. You ever wonder, like I was at, you ever wonder why did we go into slavery? Why, do, why were we chosen out of, why wasn't there Chinese people in the cotton field? Oh, the Caucasians, right. Yeah, these, these things are going to be a sign on the Israelites for a sign and a wonder for us. A sign lets you know what something is. This is a sign that God is going to put on the Israelites. So when you're calling yourself black, that's a color. Yeah. What nation of people do we come from? There's 55 countries in Africa. What they, where do we come from? This is a sign for the Israelites. Read. And upon thy seed forever. So our kids won't know where they come from. These things are going to be on our kids forever. Until we change. Until Christ come back. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. So God, he made us to rule the world. You can tell that so-called blacks and Latinos. That, we, that we're good at everything. When we, they put us in the sports field, we dominate over any nation. These things are going to be a sign and a, and a wonder of why, why can we be so good at everything, but we at the bottom. Y'all ever think, like, we created math, science, the first writings. We created all of these things, but we at the bottom. 
So these are going to be for a sign and a wonder because the Israelites didn't want to keep the commandments. Read. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. So now because you don't want to keep the commandments, he said you're going to serve your enemies. Let's see who our enemy is. Because God's people have enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So now, when you're hungry, who do you have to go to for food? Black people have their own. Who owns Walmart? What about uh, Winn-Dixie? Burger King. So we got to serve our enemies in hunger. What else? And in thirst. So who runs the uh, water company? Look at what's happening in, in Michigan. It's still, it's still no clean water. You got to go to your enemies for hunger, water, Dusani, Aquafina. That's not us. That's not our people who own that. Read. And in nakedness. And the clothes on your back. We might have picked the cotton, but we don't We don't own the textiles. We may have a uh, Rockaway or a uh, Lil Wayne's company or something. But they got to buy the material from other people. Read. And in want of all things. Life insurance. Death insurance. You want to get a car. You want to just, uh, even if you want to get married, you got to go to them to get a license. We got to go to our enemies for everything. So read this last part. Check this out, bro. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And so, so your enemy is going to put iron around your neck. Look at this sign right here. What is this right here? That is chains of iron on our neck. Read that part again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So God's people are going to have chains and iron wrapped around their neck. Because they didn't want to keep the commandments. The Israelites, this is a sign for the Israelites. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Now look at our community. Do white people want to move into our community? Because our, our people are destroyed. Nobody, when we move in, they move out. He said he's going to put chains on our neck until you destroy it. You ever had a dog? You put that chain on that dog and walk him. And then he, that choke chain, after a while, he ain't going to go too far. Teach up. Because, because he's destroyed. Once you take that chain off of him, he ain't going to go back. He ain't going to go nowhere. Because he know exactly, hey, this is the person that makes sure I got everything. He's, he, we domesticated. The so-called Caucasian man has domesticated. Make it plain. We don't even want to go back to Africa. We don't even want to go. We don't even wonder where do we come from. Because Israel is part of Africa. We don't even think about going, is this where we come from? I'm going to show you. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Bring it out. Because our people, we never even considered, why do they call me black? That's the color. What part of Africa do I come from? Nigeria? Teach. Do I come from Ghana? Where do I come from? We don't, we don't know. We never consider where do we come from. Read that. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. So an ox. You have heard somebody say, oh, that boy dumb as an ox. So that's a dumb animal. The ox, he knows who, who brings him his water, who feeds him, who provides for him. Read. And the ass is master's grill. And a donkey. You can take a donkey miles away from their house, but they know how to get back home. Read. But Israel don't not know. But who? But Israel don't not know. The Israelites don't know where their homeland is. They don't understand who their God is that wakes them up in the morning and that provides for them. Read. My people do not consider. We never even thought that we could be the Israelites. The same people that went into slavery and was building pyramids over in Egypt that had to be set free because they was working them to death. I never thought that, man, this, that could be us. It sounds familiar. 400 years of slavery. Get out of slavery. And what did the Israelites do? They broke all the commandments. Now look at us. We've been in slavery for over 400 years. We get out of so-called slavery, and we're breaking all the commandments. Look at our community. Killing, stealing, drugs, abortion. We're not marrying our women. These are the basic things that we need to survive and to actually keep living as a people. Because look at our people. We're destroying each other. We are destroying each other. Give me uh, Hosea 4.6. I'm going to show you why we destroy it. It all goes back to the same thing. It said, if you don't keep the commandments, these curses is going to be on. If you don't do this, these curses. How do you love the Lord? you got to keep the commandments. Our people are destroyed. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So when you look at our people, we are destroyed. We don't know where we come from. We don't, we don't even know that the Bible is talking about us. Did bring it out. Bring out the description of Jesus Christ. 
How does Jesus Christ look? Teach! Right there, give me Revelation 1 to 1. I'm going to show you. So this day 4, you said you got kids. You can prove. You notice what I'm doing? They don't do this in church. We got the Bible open. I done went over more scriptures in this time talking to you than they do in a whole two, three weeks of church. Bring it on. Right. Oh, yeah, I... <laughs> Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. So it said the revealing. Revelation is to reveal something. To reveal Jesus Christ and his servants. So people who believe in God, we need to know how Jesus Christ looks. Go to verse 14. Verse 14. This is Jesus Christ, man. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Jesus Christ had woolly hair. Look at this brother's hair right here. This is hair like wool. If you look at a sheep, it's curly hair. Jesus Christ had woolly hair. Read. As white as snow. White hair because it's white in texture, white meaning he had wisdom. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's first miracle, he turned water into wine. So he drank wine. It's okay to drink wine, just not to get drunk. Read. And his feet like going to fine bread. So if you take your shoes off, your feet and your hands and your legs, you don't have a black man's feet and a white man's body. So Jesus Christ, his feet were like what? Fine bread. Brass. What color is brass, bro? Like the brass brand. That's a, like a golden brown. So that's like your color, brownish color. Let's see how brown it is. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you burn something, you, you, you remember in the summertime, your parents and you go outside, they say, boy, you burn up. You, you done got black. So Jesus was burnt. He was burnt brown. He was dark brown. So why are they giving us this image when every single Bible describes Jesus Christ like this? That's what we just white woolly hair, red eyes, and brown, burnt brown skin. Why do we have this image? I'm going to show you why. Because that should let you know. Today is Sunday. What are most of our people doing today? They in church, huh? I'm going to show you exactly what's wrong with what's going on today. Matthew 24, 24. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. So it's going to be a false Christ. Is this white woolly hair and fine brass skin? That's not white hair. That's not fine brass skin. So read that again. For there shall arise false Christ. This is a false Christ. That's why we have the image of the beast. Because this is what's deceiving our people. This is not the true gospel. This is the gospel of Christ. This is what the Bible says. It's going to be false Christ and what else? And false prophets. And false prophets. So those pastors that are out uh, teaching today, they are false prophets. Because the Bible in the Ten Commandments says, go to Genesis 2. Uh, we're going to show you from the beginning. God never ordained today to be his day. I don't know if you got a cell phone on you by chance. Go to your calendar on your cell phone. Pull up your calendar on your cell phone. We're going to uh, read, read that. His work, which he had made. On what day? On the seventh day. On the seventh day. So when you pull up your calendar, what's the first day of the week? First day is Sunday, right? Sunday is supposed to be Saturday. This is the Bible. It's going to be false Christ and false prophets. If the Bible says, keep the seventh day holy, rest on the seventh day, why are they going to church on the first day? Bring it up. Because they are false prophets. That's why our people are destroying. Go to uh, Malachi 2 and 7. Because it said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let's see what is the knowledge that's causing them to be destroyed. Read that. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the priest lips, so the priest, the preacher, the reverend, the uh, deacon, the, the teacher of the church, the pope, whoever. The priest lips, the words that come out of his mouth, read, should keep knowledge. Should keep knowledge. So if, he, if we're going to church, we should seek knowledge from the priest or the preacher or the reverend. Read. And they should seek the law. The at, what? The law at his mouth. So when we go to church, we're supposed to be finding out the laws the commandments. But 
But are they doing that? They're telling you, pay your tithes and you're going to be blessed. That's all they tell me. Pay your tithes and God's going to bless you. Bring it up. They're not teaching you no commandments. As a matter of fact, go to Deuteronomy 14. I'm going to show you the hypocrisy and what's going on in church. We're going to go to uh, 14 and go to the tithes. Yeah. Here go to, hmm? I'm going to show you right here, bro. This is what they teach in church. Bible. You say what? Kind of Bible this is the regular Bible. This is the same Bible they got. The King James Bible. But you know what? They don't read it. They don't read the Bible. They just talk out of their words. This is, check this hypocrisy out. Deuteronomy chapter, uh, there you go. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22. Thou shalt truly tie all the increase of thy seed. Of that what? Of thy seed. They tell you sow a seed, but the Bible will talk about literal seed. Bring it up. They tell you that you should tie. I'm pretty sure you've heard you got a tithe, right? Pay your tithes, right? So now jump up. To, uh, like so they, this is Deuteronomy chapter 14. We gotta go up in the chapter because they teach pay your tithes. So now we gonna go up right here, uh, verse three and four. That was verse 22, but we gonna jump up a few verses to verse three. Check this out. See if they read this in church. Verse three. Thou shalt not eat any abominable poor things. These are the beasts which you shall eat. So when you go to church, do they tell you that you're not supposed to eat this food? You're not supposed to eat this, but you can eat that. These are the foods that you can eat. The ox, the sheep, and the goat. So these are like cattle products. These are like beef. You can eat beef. Read. The heart, and the rump up, and the fellow deer. So now these are like deer, beef, cattle, things like that. You can't eat that. Go to Leviticus and tell you to go to a better understanding of things that you can't eat. Go to verse 11 and 7. Check this out. Same Bible. Read. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. And the swine don't be divided to hook. So that's pork, swine. Read. And be cold and footy. Yet he chewed not the kind. Read. He is unclean unto you. So does your pastor tell you that you can't eat pork? They're not telling you you can't eat pork. They're selling ham dinners. They, they put ham all in a, in a pig feed. And they doing all that type of stuff at church. After, after church, they selling all type of abominable foods. Why is he saying you can pay tithes, but he's not reading the foods that you can eat and that you can't eat? He's not... He's not teaching you the right thing. He's not teaching you according to the Bible. I'm going to give you one more scripture, and then I'm going to let this brother go a little further into some more things uh, that you probably need to know that you might not have heard of. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. The priests have violated my law. So the preachers, they're not, they're not teaching the law. They're being disrespectful. They're not going with what, what the Bible says. They violated God's law. Read. They have profaned my holy things. The holy things. Read. They have, they have put no difference between the holy and profane. It said keep the Sabbath day holy. They go to church on Sunday. It said don't eat pork. And it says you can't eat beef. Read. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. So they didn't make a difference between you can eat pork, which is unclean, and beef, which is clean. They're not teaching you. These are the priests. They said they have violated their God's laws. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. Read. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. From the what? From my Sabbath. The day uh, is actually on Sabbath day called a new moon. They don't teach that in church. Right. Yesterday was the Sabbath day. And they're at church today. Jeez. They're not teaching what God says to do. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, 
These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I U I C, we deliver the truth.